I hear a lot of my clients and people I work with, people that I don't work with as well, people I just generally have conversations with, and they say to me, I'm making all the calls, I'm putting out all the offers, I'm making all the calls, I'm putting out all the offers, I'm making all the calls, I'm putting out all the offers, I'm having the meetings, I'm going for the coffees, I'm going to the networking events, and I'm just not getting any deals, I'm just not getting any business, my relationships are just not getting to a point where actually we're getting paid. Yeah, which ultimately we need to do. All the for all the calls in the world, all the offers in the world, all the networking in the world. If you never eventually get paid, then ultimately it's all for nothing, right? We're trying to build a business that makes money. So one of the biggest mistakes I see people making is they put all the time and the effort into building the relationships, getting to a point where people want to talk to you. People asking you to send them quotes, send them offers, all this sort of stuff, and then you don't follow up. You don't actually ask for the business. You don't say to them, sign here, please. This is how you pay. Do you want to pay on credit card or do you want to pay on debit card? How would you like to proceed? Shall we appoint solicitors? You know, what is the next stage? When can we do it? Now, the problem with this, and this, you know, this, I've seen this happening with salespeople, and whether you like it or not, we're all in sales. I've seen this happen to salespeople since I was in recruitment and I was training salespeople back in like 2008, is that so much attention, so much energy goes into the building of the business and the relationships and things like that, that sometimes it's really easy to forget to actually ask for the business, to actually ask them to sign the contract and commit, to actually pay their money, to actually put their skin in the game or to progress the deal to the next stage. If you don't do that, if you don't get used to actually asking for the business and closing them down, then they're not going to close themselves. You know, people are not going to appoint solicitors just because, you know, they need to know the offer's been accepted. They need to be told and instructed what is the next stage for you to move forward. You know, if an investor is asking you to work with them, then you need to tell them they need to fill out their anti-money laundering forms and send it back to you and send you their ID and things like that. Because if you don't give them that instruction and you don't close them out to get a sourcing agreement signed, sealed and delivered, then you can't represent them. So you've actually got no business. Asking for the business, asking for the signature on the dotted line, asking for the, the to be paid is what actually creates your wealth. It's where you get paid from. Why do we forget this stage? Why don't we put as much attention into this stage as we do into the building of the relationships in the first place? I think a lot of the time it's because people are um, icky about money. People are icky about actually closing somebody down. Now remember my rule on this is if you've got a solution to somebody's problem, then you actually have a responsibility to sell it to them. Because if you don't, you're letting them down. If you genuinely have a solution that fixes a problem for them. If you don't have a solution that fixes a problem, i.e. you're just selling them something they don't need because you want to be paid, that's not ethical, don't do that, right? But if you're sitting in front of a vendor and you genuinely have a solution that helps them get out of the situation that they're in, then you have a responsibility to close that client because it fixes their problem and makes their life better. If you don't do that, you are letting them down. When you approach business and sales in that way, if you approach closing deals in that way and understand that it's really not about you lining your pocket, it's about you solving and serving for your client and you get paid as a consequence, you start to feel less icky about it. So I just thought I'd leave that with you. My kettle's boiled now. Um, make sure whatever offers you're putting out, you're following them up. You're chasing them down because they won't probably get accepted the first time. They might not get accepted the 15th time you call them about it. They might get accepted like six months down the line. You never know. But if you don't follow up and actually ask for the business, then how do they know that you want to work with them? Make sure you're following up. Make sure you're asking for the deal to be signed, sealed and delivered.